Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi and we continue with our topic of discussion and we are discussing sexual reproduction in animals. So the next stage we are going to discuss how the placenta is formed and uh, the, the role of the placenta in the development of the fetus. So we'll start with the formation. of placenta and we'll have a diagram so in this diagram we have the chorionic villi which are the points of attachment then around this section here the placenta develops around this area then we have the allantois which later forms the umbilical cord we have the amnion and closing the amniotic fluid So this is the placenta developing. The placenta is developing there and we have the embryo. So the outermost wall is the chorion which has the projections that we are referring to as the chorionic villi. Then we have the part where the umbilical cord will emerge from. We refer to that as the allantois. And then the placenta will form around this area where there is the amniotic fluid so that there is proper communication between the mother's circulation and the fetus uh, uh, circulation. And then definitely uh, we have the embryo there. So we are saying that uh, the placenta will develop around this area such that uh, towards the end of the third month of pregnancy or the third month of the gestation period, then the placenta is fully developed at that stage. And at that stage, we no longer call uh, this the embryo, but we now call it the, the fetus because it has already developed the placenta. So at the end of the third month, the placenta is fully developed. And we refer we refer to the fetus. So we no longer have the embryo at that stage, but now we refer to the fetus. We refer to uh, this as the fetus. Uh, it's also important to understand uh, the functions of the placenta. Mm -hmm. and the, the functions of the placenta is to allow the exchange of materials between the mother and the fetus and uh, so you can see that the placenta allows the exchange of nutrients and oxygen from the mother's circulation to 
to the fetal circulation. So basically the nutrients and the oxygen are the ones that uh, are exchanged from the mother to the fetus. Then also allows the exchange of waste products of metabolism from the fetus the waste products of metabolism come from the fetus to the mother for excretion Another role uh, of the, the placenta, it also prevents disease-causing microorganisms e.g. bacteria from the mother reaching the fetus prevents disease causing microorganisms e.g. bacteria from the mother uh, from reaching uh, the fetus another role of the placenta it produces hormones for example there is progesterone and estrogen uh, these are the hormones which maintain pregnancy so all those are functions of the placenta and also from the fact that uh, it supports the fetus to support the fetus. So all those are functions or their roles that are played by, by the placenta. It is important to note, a point to note, that uh, the blood from the fetus and the blood from the mother do not mix. They do not mix. And the reason why they do not mix is because if they were to mix, then of course we are saying that uh, the disease causing microorganisms from the mother can pass on onto the fetus in case they are there. And then number two, the other reason why the two bloods do not mix is because the high pressure of the blood from the mother may end up bursting the delicate blood capillaries of the fetus. So the two bloods should not mix, but they should just exchange nutrients, oxygen, and and the waste products via, via something that is called sinuses, via sinuses. So we are saying that a point to note that the blood from the mother and that from the fetus do not mix. This is due to one, preventing infection of the fetus. And number two, the mother's 
blood is at a higher pressure and hence would burst the delicate blood capillaries of the fetus to burst the delicate blood capillaries of the fetus therefore exchange occurs by diffusion exchange occurs by diffusion through through spaces called sinuses so exchange occurs by diffusion uh, whereby the oxygen can diffuse nutrients can diffuse waste products can diffuse through spaces that are referred to as uh, sinuses so we'll have an assignment on that So the first question, what is the role of allantois and the role of the placenta? Two, explain why the mother's and the fetus' blood should not mix. So we're going to stop there. Until next time, goodbye.